third time lucky. Hi everyone, I'm your independent stamping up demonstrator from Brisbane, Vicky Kello. Yay, I think I'm in the right way this time. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Kerry. I've got an echo. Let me just turn that off, I think. Okay. So welcome back, everybody. Well, welcome back to me. I've moved house. I have got a new setup for the time being until my craft room is done. Hi, Tanya. So we are just having a temporary space right now. Hi, Marie. Until then, but I got some goodies today. So I thought I would show these. Oh, I'm still unpacking boxes, Kerry. Having trouble. I've had trouble trying to get Facebook Live to work, Chrissy. Kept turning me sideways. So I got some tumblers. So these are really pretty. This is the Orchid Oasis one. It's a lot more glittery than I thought. And so these um, are like thermal mugs type thing. And they've got the flip lid so that you can't spill anything like the other one. Um, but the other one was only available to demonstrators. This is available to customers as well so they've got them in five different colors so all the new in colors there's tumblers to match and i they arrived today after i put up that post saying i don't know what i'm going to talk about tonight so then i've got this to talk about if i can open the boxes hi glenda this one is the, I'm still learning all these numbers, Tahitian Tide, that's pretty. So if you're interested in these, these come in the, um, are available in my store. Usually branded products like this are only available to demonstrators, but they've made these available to customers as well, which is pretty nifty. This one is the Sweet Sorbet. Is that what it's called? Yes, Sweet Sorbet. Oh, thanks Megan, I went with something different. They were a bit ratty after moving. Um, I, I spent Mother's Day unpacking boxes, so I unpacked like 17 boxes yesterday. just so I could find my craft stuff to try and set up for a live tonight. And I went through all my stuff that's retired from the old, from the just past catalog and there's so much stuff. This is the Starry Sky one. They're a lot more glittery in person than I saw from the picture. So I've now got I've now got to just spend some time on my business from the admin side of things and schedule some posts and stuff like that because all my scheduled posts have stopped. 
Hunter loves the new house, Kerry. The fact that it has a bath it was his one criteria because we've never had a bath. And this is the pretty parakeet, parakeet party one. So it's pretty exciting. I did get all the colors, Megan. I thought they would look great once I get all my craft room set up on display. Um, plus I have a fate um, in a couple of weeks, so I thought I would have them on display there as well, showing all the pretty colors. So um, there's been a few um, weekly draws or um, lucky door prizes that I need to um, give out. So I just drew tonight. The video from the 21st of March is Marnie. There was no video on the 28th because I didn't have any internet. I am back, Sue. Um, Myrtle was the lucky door from the 4th of Mar um, April. And Anita was the lucky door from the 11th of April. And then there was three weeks where I didn't have videos because they were public holidays in Brisbane. And we are back on schedule for tonight. So we have just had a new catalog go live. Um, and those, I did say that I was gonna post out some catalogs last week. I couldn't actually find my box, box of catalogs. So in this order, um, I ordered a new box of catalogs. So those that I have promised catalogs to, they will be in the mail this week now that this box arrived today. And hopefully I'll find my other box before the fate. So um, we've got this catalog now with lo lots of lovely new products in it. Um, but I thought tonight, because this catalog, the mini catalog still goes until June, I thought I would use some items out of there because I haven't had too much of a chance to play and I don't have very many new items. So I thought I would use um, some of the items out of here tonight to show you and see how we go. Um, so I have got a fun fold that I saw this afternoon. Hi Anita! From a Heidi Smith in the UK that I thought I would try out um, and show you guys. And I did want to try and use this stamp set, the Home and Garden one, because I have not used it yet. So I would like to try and get some ink on it. So we'll see how we go. And I hadn't used any of this vellum paper. So this, <laughs> yes, I do love a good fun fold, Megan. So hopefully you will too. Um, hadn't used any of this paper. This is the vellum layering designs, which comes with the artfully layered suite. And it's all different vellums. So they come in white and black. So they're very similar designs, but some of them have white print on them and then others have black print on them. So it gives you a different look. So, and I hadn't opened this packet either. So I'm using a tiny bit of this. I think these wordy ones, scripty ones, would go well on any vintage project, even the map would I think vellum goes well on any type of project I just need to have time to sit and play with it so now I have my own room I'm not in the dining room I can't hear the TV I can't hear Adrian playing YouTube videos while I'm trying to make a video and I can't hear uh, if he puts the microwave on or anything, it's amazing. So now I might be able to come down here over night time and get some stuff done. Now that I've got it all set up. So I have got, oh, I'm 
I'm still trying to find. I know, Megan. Um, I still, it will be my office, like my work office, plus then my craft office. So I still have to share the space, but the fact that I'm not sharing the end of a dining room table and that I can leave stuff out all the time and it not interfere with anything, I am looking forward to it. But the cabinets that I'm getting put in um, can't be fitted until July. So I've got to make do between now and then. But it is what it is. I haven't crafted for a month. So to even just getting this far is good. So uh, this with this fun fold, you need... I've adjusted Heidi's measurements slightly. She has a blog post, Heidi Smith. I think she's Heidi Flutterby or Flutterby Heidi or something. Um, and she's from the UK. I've adjusted her measurements because I like my card. This is a landscape card. And I like my cards to be five and seven eighths, which is what we my normal card base is. Whereas the measurements she has gives you five and a half in the middle, which is more an American size card base. So um, what I've done, it's four and one eighth uh, width. So if you cut the um, paper lengthways, four and one eighth, you'll get two out of the one piece. And then I've changed the measurement to be nine and seven eighths. And then you score it one inch, two inches, turn it around and score it one inch and two inch. And then at the top of one, I've just gone half an inch and cut to the first score line. And then that keeps falling. Then you just trim to that score line. That, cut that down and so you cut away that little tag bit there and then you just do a diagonal cut from the score line to that cut to give it a bit of a nicer finish when you fold. Okay, so that's that bit done. Um, I'm getting some drawers put in. I'm getting an IKEA Calyx unit. Well, I'm getting the Bunnings version of the IKEA Calyx unit. Um, and um, a desk space all along the left-hand side of my wall and the, across the window so that my desk will be built in and then a little crafting desk pulled out as well. So that will be good. Um, so then we just need to fold the first score lines in. Just burnish with a bone folder and then fold the fir first ones back again. So we've got that happening. I'm just making sure because I didn't practice this card. I've just watched her YouTube video and her um, measurements so I'm just wanting to make sure that all the pieces kind of line up they're gonna to be too short because I changed the measurements that's why right so these pieces good thing I checked that I'm gonna to have to cut on paper because I changed, changed the measurements, these are going to have to be um, 
what did I change it to? Nine and a half. From nine and a half to nine and seven eighths is one, two, three eighths. Three, one, two, three eighths more. Okay, so. Hi, Laura. The height is fine. Which is three and five eighths. And then the width. So what you want is when the card is closed and that piece is not going to be long enough, it's going to be short, a smidge, because I was using scrap. So three and one eighth. And then when the card is closed, And I've cut that too short because I'm talking three and five eighths, not three and one eighth. Good thing I've got lots of scrap of mint macaron. And then this will need to be five and seven eighths. And then this needs to be cut in half, which is then, if we fold it, in half a smidgen under three which should get us oh no we're going to get to sixteenths of an inch yeah because i changed the measurement if you want to stay with her measurements um heidi's measurements go right ahead but i like to change it so it's a normal size card base for me And that will fit in there nicely. So then I'll need to cut some more paper. Which will be three and a half by let me just trim that down to the same. So it's the one smidgen after two and three quarters. So that will fit that. And the other ones won't be too bad. So we also have a inside piece, an inside layering piece of white, which is a normal card base layer. And that will fit in there. We've got these two pieces there. Those two pieces are now scrap over this side. We have two mechanism pieces, which are two and a half by three and one eighth, and they're scored at three quarters of an inch and one and three quarters. We've got two smaller layering pieces, which are two and a quarter by three and an eighth, and then they've got a white piece that's an eighth of an inch smaller. And then I've also done the vellum, and I chose the vellum with the black, um, an eighth of an inch smaller on that too. So they all layer on there. So I'm gonna layer these up. Now I'm hoping there's enough, oh, there should be enough seal, that's a new one. Because I haven't found my box of seal yet. All my tape so there's still um, total there's like 53 boxes left to unpack um, half of that is still my craft 
stuff. I had 24 boxes of craft stuff. Hi, Marnie. Um, and then there's still a couple of boxes of kitchen stuff and bathroom stuff. There's no storage in this house for bathroom, so I'm trying to work out some storage solutions. <laughs> Thanks, Laura. I didn't even pick that really until tonight. I chose um, mint macaron because I actually have lots of it. And I'm like, when I am making a card that I'm not, I uh, haven't practiced, I usually um, try on cardstock that I've got a lot of. So with the mechanism pieces, I'm just doing a Z fold with them, which means you fold one side and then fold the other side back. And then we can layer these pieces. Now I've cut that too wide. That one's all right. That one's not. Why is that one so short? Because I threw the wrong piece away. I did cut it right. I threw the wrong piece away. Okay, so then the mechanism on here and we want the flap to be on the outside but you want it to line up square and have the fold line hopefully you can see this have the score line on the outside of the card and then we can get adhesive on that and that should line up exactly and then if we do the same with this one so line it up So, like I said, this is not my design. This is um, Heidi Smith from the UK. I think she's Flutter by Heidi or um, something in the UK. It's her design. And I've just changed the measurement slightly to fit a normal size card base. And then that folds in. I've moved that slightly so that's bent. I'm just going to re-burnish that so it sits where it needs to sit flat. And because I'm slightly off on this side, it's not completely lining up there, but that's okay. Um, and then this one covers that. Um, I don't think it matters because the vellum has the writing going in all different directions. So it doesn't completely matter. Um, 
but you want to make sure you get your words, majority of your words go the right way. Okay, so then your card stands like this. So she's called it a display fold card. So that's the mechanism. They're done. And then so once they're done, you can thing. So we're going to do some stamping. Um, I'm going to say thanks for helping me grow. And oops. All right. I do need to get a rubbish bin for in here. Just <clears throat> gonna set this stamp up because I've not used it. That's why I want to use it tonight. So there is a um, a joining special on at the moment. So if you're interested in being part of my team or um, getting a good deal with all the new product in the new catalogue during the month of May they've got a uh, added promotion so not only do you get the um, the kit for $235 worth of product for $169 you also get all this added extra benefits um, additional product of the in colors which is amazing. I haven't sat there and worked out how much, but it's a big couple of hundred dollars. How much extra in product that you get because you get all the ink color in um, ink pads. You get some paper and the cardstock, and it's a great deal, especially at this time of of year when all the new ink colors come out and everyone wants them all at once. Okay, so that now fits in there. Oh, nice, Laura. Hi, Helen. Sorry, Helen, I, because I moved, I couldn't find, I know I said to you that I was going to send out the catalogue. I only just, I couldn't find my box of catalogues, so I've ordered some more and they've just arrived today. So it will be in the mail. So I'm going to stick the ladder there. Thanks for helping me grow. What other words have we got? It's well done, Laura. Um, might do Happy Father's Day. Get an extra $208 for $169. I knew it'd be a couple of hundred dollars. Thanks, Anita. No, Lisa, I've followed it up to see where it is. Because they were doing a, um, a manual change and trying to get some of the ink out, it is taking a little bit longer. But um, hopefully it should be here before you come back. Um, happy Father's Day. Thanks for helping me grow. And I think I might stamp. Now, these have dies with them. So, what have I got? This one and, oh, the gloves. Do you think that's the gloves? Oh, it goes this way, silly. Yes, that's the gloves. 
Uh, it's really nice, Laura. I just haven't had a chance with moving and everything. I have not had a chance to do anything. So I am trying to get back into it and unpacking a few things. So I thought, now I do have Just Jade in here that is a retired colour. Oh, I think I'm going to stamp the ladder directly on the paper, Megan, so I don't know that I'm going to die cut that out. Um, but it does coordinate with the paper, so that's why I've still got Just Jade there. But I think I might do the ladder in Evening Evergreen. Paper. I got black out just in case, but get my big block. I don't think the D block will go with the letter. My A Wash in Beauty Suite arrived today. I haven't even looked at that one yet. Yeah. Abigail Rose. I haven't got that yet, Laura. I have, to be honest, I've really not had too much of a chance to look at the new catalogue. I wrote down my wish list and I ordered what was on pre-order and then I moved. So I've not done very much at all. Um, not far. So I've moved to Browns Plains and things. So it's... um. Not too far from where I was. Um, Megan is happier because it's 10 minutes closer to her <laughs> than it, I was before. Um, oh, it's flowers, you won't like it. Oh, yes. I've not had a good look at anything just yet. I am looking forward to I was really hoping to actually um, get all the boxes done. I know that sounds ridiculous when I've still got like 50 boxes left to unpack, but I was really hoping to get all the boxes unpacked over the weekend. Oh, it is closer to you too, Chrissy. But um, it just hasn't happened. It takes a lot longer to unpack than it does to pack. Oh, uh, I don't know, Laura. I think it's a little bit further from you. Um, depends what way I go, probably, but yeah. All right, so that's going to go on the inside. There. And then I'm going to stamp. Why am I putting those away? I've got some scrap here. To stamp those other things that sentiment's not going to fit in there I knew I had a bit of more scrap <laughs> yes Elizabeth still the same distance from you all right so stamp I might stamp two of them I think I still need to get a color no <laughs> Um, and then we'll stamp the gloves. I think I might stamp a glove over here too. They're pretty cute. So hopefully I'm not going to promise any classes in May because I'm still getting everything set up, but hopefully for June, I should be right to bring on classes again. Gonna find a punch to punch that out that I like. I did have a chance while I was unpacking to go through all my stuff that's retiring. And holy dooly, I've lost a lot. Well, a lot is retire has retired from the old catalog that I now need to load up and um, sell. So I'll bring in my mini and 
what plates do I need? Because I don't use this very often. Place die cutting edge. One. Insert embossing folder. Insert. I think it's just. Is that gonna? No, that's too much. Yeah, I'll um, take pictures of it. Yes, well, I am, um, that'll go through, plate one and the two clear plates. Thank you, Megan. Look at you. So helpful. Line these up. I think I'm going to have to do it this way so I can see what I'm doing. But I can actually fit it on my desk. Can you see how much room I've got? Did you all check out my new photo that I put up today? I'm so excited. I have lost my um, pretty wood grain background on my table though because I'm using a different table. So I might have to look at getting some more wood grain. I should have probably colored them in before I cut them out. They're gonna be a bit hard to color in now, but that's okay. Have you got your crafting space set up, Elizabeth, or do you still go around to mum's? All right, pop that down. Oh, everything's moving. I know, Carrie, I can't wait. I've unpacked some stuff, but not enough to feel like I know what I'm doing or where everything's at. I'm still missing things. I'm just going to cut that off so I don't get any marks on that. half set need to go to Ikea. Is that far from you, Elizabeth? Plate on the ISR has been moved next week, so I wanted... It would help a lot, wouldn't it, Laura? But I have a table. Oh, nice. Yeah, um, or some... If I got some post-it notes, it's stuck would help um, but I haven't found my socks yet I was more worried about getting my craft room set up and now my feet are freezing because I can't find my box with my socks in it so um, I need a label punch of some sort I lost quite a few punches too. So, well, I haven't lost them there. I just went through what was in the new catalog and what wasn't, and there's quite a few punches that are on the list to go to. All right, I'm going to put everything away. I have found, well, I, the box with all my undies and my um, socks is what I still haven't found, but I have found between all my other clothes, I've managed to come up with like six pairs of undies. So I feel a lot more sorted than I did last week. 
but still no socks. When I find them, I'll find the rest of my undies too. Um, where did that go? Maybe there. <laughs> okay, so let's put this together. Oh no, I'm gonna color these in. So I did find my blend storage. So at least I can color. Because until I found them, I'm like, oh my God, I'm really limited in what I can have for my stamps that I use. Um, the gloves, and it's right here next to me. Did the packers not label the box? Oh, we packed, Sue, we packed. Um, the remove list just moved. But some things aren't labelled as one would think. That's pale papaya, so let's have pale papaya handles. Oh, I miss the smell of the blends. I haven't had to colour for so long. And I think we'll have pale papaya gloves. Until I'm concentrating, I can't really talk while I'm colouring. And then we need to colour the ladder because that looks a bit lonely, not coloured. So what I labelled when I moved was good at the start, then unpacking, I totally mislabeled. Oh. Yes, some boxes don't have labels on them, which I think are the boxes that Adrian packed. And then other boxes have the back wardrobe plus Vic's clothes on them. So it's a bit hit and miss what they really are. And you're like, oh no. So. Well, I can't fully unpack really until my craft um, storage is done. So that's, oh, I can move that off there. I'm like, why is that moving? Because I haven't stuck it down yet. Um, until July. But hopefully by then I've got all the clothes done and everything else done. We've got a bit on the back patio at the moment. So hopefully we can find a home for all of that as well. Because this is a much bigger place, but it's got less storage solutions. So I'm working through that. Um, I've, I labeled the boxes I packed okay. <laughs> yes. Now you and Steve are good at doing it. I think this is more the boxes that Adrian and I packed before you guys got there. The kitchen, I found all those boxes. I've donated um, six boxes to kitchen because we have so much stuff. No, it should go on the market next week. Um, but because of this rain event that we're 
expecting. No, it's not half as steep. Laura, this is amazing. <laughs> Um, because of the rain event that we're expecting, it, that's dependent on when the stages will come and stage the house with furniture. So we're obviously relying on them before they can take the pictures and list the house. Um, so it's a bit shit with the weather at the moment. Um, I'm going to... I think I'm going to bring that back so that lines up. I'm not liking how that is looking there. So I'm just going to refold that so that lines up because that's sitting like that. And I don't know whether that's my measurements or how it's supposed to, how Heidi's card looks, but I don't like it. Now that on my card, I want it to line up. So I'm just pushing that to line up. And then reburnishing that. Oh, I'm liking that much better. Right, so now time to decorate. I think we might need some ink around here. To make it pop. I hope my daubers are in here. All good down here. Cold, colder, more cold. Um, he's finished the painting, Chrissy, today. He took today off work. Um, so he's finished the painting. And the shed is pretty much empty. They just have to um, do another dump run. So, yeah, it's cold here too. I had a jumper on and that's why I'm looking for socks because it's cold with the rain and everything else, um, dimensionals. So, oh, they're already cut. I'm going to have to cut these a bit smaller, I think, for these itty bitty bits that I did. Ah, oh, it's nearly finished now, Laura. Just putting it together. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop this on. Oh, thanks, Tanya. We're supposed to get 10 months worth of rain in um, in a week. I'm not looking forward to it at all. So upside is we have pretty good drainage here because in our last house, it seems to happen every time we buy a house, in our last house, we had this like rain event after we bought and my whole laundry flooded and everything because there was no drainage put in the property so i always said next property i buy i'm going to look at in the rain and we did actually look at this after it had rained and it looked pretty good my backyard is a bit of a mud pit at the moment though because i had tree loppers in who um, tore up the backyard but they had to cut all the trees down yeah tanya lismore doesn't need any more at all do they so it is looking like a bit of a mud pit, but it's that's more from the tree loppers, not from poor drainage or anything. Just needed a week to recover between the tree loppers and the rain. So we're just putting this together. Oh, that doesn't go in the rubbish over there. I need to get me a bin in here. Because there's so many more rooms in here, I need to buy some rubbish bins. Because I don't have many. Oh, that's cute there. 
Um, Wookie is settling in really well. He has got out once already, but that was because we had the side fence opened and he went walkabout. But some lovely neighbors brought him back. So that was good. Now, I think I'll push that in a bit. I don't want that dimensional poking out there. All right, some bling. Bling, bling, bling. I've got all this bling opened. this new stuff seeing as I've used oh there goes a the gem I've used some pale papaya night ladies so it stands up like that and I've made sure you can't see any of the inside with that design but you could decorate the inside a bit more if you want so Heidi Smith from I think it's Flutter by Harley um, Heidi calls it a display fold card so I did make it look a little bit complicated because I changed the measurements. But if you stick with her measurements on her blog, uh, you'll be right. Rather than changing up the measurements that I did and didn't practice it beforehand. So thank you everybody for watching. Um, I will get Lucky Door prizes out hopefully this week with the catalogues. So I might spend a bit of time in here tonight now typing up mailing labels and stuff like that to get things in the mail um, and I'll be sure to put them in plastic zippy bags so that um, they don't get wet too much with all this silly rain going to be here. Thanks ladies, I enjoyed being back, hope you didn't miss me too much and um, we'll be back next week. Thanks!